are arrested and put in those camps, you know why? Because they're going to say, the government's going to say that you're terrorists. And after the next attack, they're going to be arresting you niggas and claiming that you're terrorists. And they're going to be torturing you in those internment camps. And don't tell me there's no internment camps because we got documents all over America, every state. There's a, a part of that state dedicated to the building of internment camps. And they're going to get that chip. It's on the chip. Matter of fact, a matter of fact, they had the Japanese, the white man had the Japanese in the internment camps during World War II. So you think they won't do it to you niggas? You think they won't do it they to you? They put the Japanese in internment camps out there in California. I got the documents. And they put the Italians too, because America, and the Germans, and the Germans, because America was at war with Italy, German, uh, Germany, and Japan during World War II. So they had all those people in internment camps over there in California. You people are stupid. You people are, you gotta be, you, you so-called Americans gotta be the most dumbest people you're, you're on the planet. You're a bunch of stupid you're, people, you know nothing, you're a bunch you don't know of nothing about the money shit, system. Man. You don't know oh, nothing about this country. Oh, oh, now one of you can recite uh, uh, um, uh, an amendment from the uh, Constitution. Yeah, what's you the second the amendment? They don't know that. They don't what's know the, the first amendment. Any of you bright souls out there can recite the second amendment? Yeah, can you? You're supposed to be some damn American. Yeah. You, you man up, stupid. nigga. Man up. You Where you stupid. at? And let me tell you it's something The second else. amendment. Recite it. Yeah. Bunch of dumb and you, especially you niggas. You ain't niggas ain't got a fucking thing to say. We're gonna tell you a bunch of dummies. We're man. gonna tell you something else too. You niggas are stupid. You niggas, when you have babies and you go to the hospital, first of all, don't you know when your woman has a baby, she is supposed to be laying on, on a flat on her bed. When a woman is having a baby, she's supposed to sit squatting up. She's you, not supposed to. She's supposed to have a, a, midwife. a midwife. Not no doctor. You in a goddamn hospital and another man is looking up in between your woman's legs. Bet. And they're cool with that. Bet, yeah, and you guys are all right with that. Now, bet, when the pilgrims first came over here up in Salem, Massachusetts, and they were so-called having the witch burnings, they, they were, uh, those women that they were burning, that they claimed were witches were really midwives. And they would take them, and they would accuse them of witchcraft, and they would, uh, they, they would kill them and burn them at the stake because the white man was trying to do away with that whole midwife. Push that medical and they were trying to push that pharmaceutical and push that medical and system. No, John and, that whole guy, and that whole, the, do we have it in the app? Uh, that medical, that symbol, that's a satanic symbol. Seducius. Seducius that goes back to the Babylonian Empire. Okay? I can add to what he said. Yeah. That was John D. Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller, so-called white man, a bastard, a devil, yeah. started that whole medical association in 1848. Yeah. And he basically started out the AMA, the American Medical Association. And he basically started out to make money. It's all about making money. They don't give a shit about you and you. You're going to learn the elites don't give a fucking shit about you, man. The elites don't give a damn about you. That's why they created a 9-11. It was not created by some goddamn sand rat in the caves, you dumb, stupid nigger. It was created by your government. You dumb, stupid niggas. First of all, you got no health care. First of all, we got a, a DVD, but you know what? We ain't gonna give it to you people, because you people, you deserve what you get. First of all, when you go to England, when you go to Europe, health care is free, you know that? Anywhere in Europe, you get free health care. That means you can just walk into a hospital, if you're having a baby, if you're sick, they take care of you, and then that's it. Dental, over here in America, you don't have free health care. You go to the goddamn hospital for a headache, or whatever it is, then they send you a bill for 200 bills. And they don't even do nothing. You go to the emergency room, they make you sit in the goddamn emergency room for two hours. Two hours. For two hours. For three hours. You sit in the emergency room all night long. Right. Then when they finally, the nurse, you don't even see a doctor. Right. You see the nurse. She take you in the room, be in the cup, stick a needle in your arm, then send you home. Then send you a goddamn bill for a thousand dollars. For a thousand dollars, man. That's why America's gonna be destroyed. That's why America's going to be destroyed. And if you ain't right with the most high, you're going you to be with destroyed it. with it. Right. So you white people, all I can tell you to do is live it up. Right. Yeah. If you never went to France, take that credit card right now and go to France. I, I, I take tell your me. kids' college fund money and go down to Disney World and stay down there for about a good month. And you, you and you talking about? So you, the, you devils are going down, man. America's going to be destroyed. Do you know that, sir? You, you so-called white men. You know that America's going down? This guy, man. So what do you know about America going down? What do you know about that? How's America going to go down? Since you said America's going to go down, huh? You, 
you right. But you know how, ultimately, so. how is America physically going to go down? Ther give me a sign. Yeah. Thermonuclear destruction. That's right. You go, as soon as you, you've been talking about going into Iran for the last couple of years, and they're going to get into Iran. Once they get into Iran, that's when the, Ru the Russians are going to back them up. And then there's going to be a, a turmoil over there. And then the Russians, once the Russians get involved, they don't give a shit. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna bomb your ass. But guess what? Not only the Russians, but your allies, like France, yep. like Germany, yep. like Great Britain, like Turkey, all of them are going to uh, shoot missiles on America. America's going to be destroyed. Yeah, and it ain't going to happen you no know, hundred years from now. Right. All right? Very soon. Like your pastors say, it ain't yeah. gonna happen no 20 years from now. All right? Go ahead. Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 11. Because he were glad, because he rejoiced, all ye destroyers of mine heritage. Right, the white man, it don't, it don't have to say Esau. If it says, all my destroyers of my heritage, you know it's talking about the so-called white man. That's right, man. Because who's the most high heritage? His people, the nation yeah. of Israel. That's right. So you crackers got a lot to pay for, man. Yeah. You, you devils are going They're down. Listen, you're at the end of your world. Give me Job uh, 14 and 5. Right up. See, there's a certain time limit, man. Yeah. You Romans went into power, and there was a certain time limit when you were going to be brought down. The Egyptians went into the power. There was a certain time limit where they were going to be brought down. The Babylonians, there was a certain time limit before they went down. And their time limit was 70 years, but the most I cut that short a couple of years. So, you're at the end of your world. You enjoyed yourself. You lived deliciously, Mr. So-called White Man in America. Right. But now you're going to lose it all. Right. And Evelyn Rothschild, give them how many warlocks you have, how many witches, I don't give a damn how much shit you done dug, dug up on the other side of the world, yep. you're going into slavery. Like I said, Evelyn Rothschild and the Rothschild family, the living members of the Rothschild family and the Rockefellers, they're not going to be, they're not going to taste of these missiles. Right. They're going to be shackled up. All the money that they have, we're going to get everything, they, all the assets that they have, that they possess, we gonna get gonna be transferred. See, money is never lost. Lost, right? It's transferred. Transfer. Right, right, right. In the form of gold and silver. Right. Right. So all that money that uh, Evelyn Rothschild has, and the Rothschild family have, and the super rich families of the earth have, the thing that they possess, is, including their slaves, is all gonna be transferred to us. Right. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay. Very soon. And the only. The only metal that you won't be associated with, you lost child, is that is some chains that's gonna be shackled on your ass. Alright. Alright? Go ahead. Isaiah 16 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall... The sons also of them that afflicted us, starting with the white men, going down to the Moabites, the Chinese, the Japanese, the East Indians, uh, the Africans, all the different nations, the Arabs, go ahead. Shall come bending unto thee. They're going to bend. What, what, what does it mean when you bend down to somebody? That means you're going, you bend down to your Lord. Right. We're going to be the new lords on the planet Earth.